This video I'm going to show how I pan and zoom with the free version of DaVinci Resolve version 19. After I drag the video clip I'm going to use in the timeline, I'll need to switch over to the Edit tab in order to pan around and zoom in and out. But first I'm going to unlink the clip so I can delete the audio and then drag the dividers around to maximize the preview window. And now that I can see the video better, I'm going to scrub the playhead until I get to the first point I want to focus on. Then I'm going to go down and click on the video clip that I want to transform and it will show my option up in the right corner. So the first thing I want to do is zoom the whole video and so I'll go over the zoom x option and set the number to a 1.8 magnification. Now I need to pan the X position over so I go down, left click and hold in that setting, and then drag the mouse until this vehicle is in the center of the screen. Now I'll go over and do the same thing for the Y setting, click and hold down, then drag the mouse again until I have the video centered how I want it. In order to change the pan and zoom settings throughout the video, I'll go up and click this little diamond icon to create a keyframe for this position. Now if I want to quickly navigate to that keyframe again after I go down and scrub the playhead backwards, I can go up and click on this little arrow to the right of the icon to go back to it. So with that first keyframe set, I want to go back to the beginning of the video to set another that is panned over all the way to the right where the vehicle first comes into frame. If you watch the little diamond icon, it will turn red as soon as I change the X position setting which means it is creating a new keyframe with the numbers you leave it set at. I also want to watch for black borders which means I'm going outside of the video. And now that I have this first keyframe set, the video will move over to the next keyframe setting which will create the panning effect when you play or scrub through the timeline. So what I want to do now is go a little bit after the first keyframe to create another with the same setting so the video won't start panning over until the vehicle gets to about the middle of the screen. I'll click on the diamond icon to create a new keyframe then go back to the first to see the number to type it into the second keyframe. And once I have the second keyframe set to the same settings as the first, when I go back to the beginning I will now see that the video will not start panning until it hits the second keyframe. Then once it plays over the now third keyframe, it will stop panning which is exactly what I wanted to do. And just for the record, this driver told my neighbors he was totally fine right before he drove off so apparently nobody was hurt. So now I'll just scrub past all the shouting to when he drives off, and we'll zoom out of the video so you can see how to set those keyframes. I'll set one keyframe for the position, and one for the zoom, with the current settings at the point in the video I want to start zooming out. Then I'll move all the way to the end of the video to set the last keyframe for each with the default settings of 1 for zoom and 0 for the X and Y positions. Now when I go back to just before the second to last keyframe, the video will zoom out until the end. There is another way to do this which is how I prefer, I just go down and click on the diamond shaped icon at the bottom right of the video clip, and it will show all the keyframes I just set. Now I can see where they are all at and navigate between them and save quite a bit of time by using copy and paste by holding down the control plus the C or V keys. I can also delete keyframes by clicking on them and pressing the delete key. So with the first keyframe copied by holding down the control key and pressing the C key. Now I can move the playhead into place and press the V key while still holding down control and that will paste the first keyframe into the second position. You can also just click on and hold keyframes to drag them over which is a lot faster than deleting and recreating them where you want. Now if you go over and click on this square transform icon so it turns white, then go up and zoom out, this is a much faster way to zoom in and out of the video. You can also see the path the video will take along with the nodes around it, which will help show its position while it goes through all the keyframes you set. To quickly zoom in and out, you can click on a node in the corner and drag it so the video is larger or smaller. Hopefully this video has helped, and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more quick and on point videos.